the season of love. It brings us closer to our significant others and maybe even to a new love. Are you looking for a way to make your Valentine's date a little more interesting? Sure, you've got the flowers, the menu, and the gift picked, but what about a specialty cocktail? Kellen Hempel is the mastermind and mixologist behind the Instagram account Cocktails by Kellen. He's joining us today so we can add a specialty cocktail inspired by the day of love. And it's a Kellen original again. It is, yeah. So what are we calling this? So this one is Cupid's Arrow. Cupid's um, Arrow. It's one that it gives a lot of those like bright, fun flavors uh, that you probably want for Valentine's Day. Uh, and it adds a little bit of like crispness because this is a champagne topped cocktail as well. So one shot of this cocktail and I'm going to be in love, right? Absolutely. Cupid's Arrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so funny. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you brought gin and I have to say again, you are known for bringing gin to us and I think a lot of people think they don't like gin because they just have it like it's got a strong flavor right yes absolutely that juniper is really dominating with a lot of uh, gins especially London dry gins which I think is what everybody kind of goes for when they think gin uh, but you can really easily pair that with uh, a lot of like bright citrus notes to kind of mellow out that juniper and I added a little bit of, like sweet fruitiness to it with the syrup to okay. kind of like almost harmonize the flavors together. Harmonize the flavors, okay. Make me, make me this cocktail. All right. I'm so, getting excited. <laughs> we'll start with our two ounces of Tangeray gin. Okay. Tangeray is just my always preferred London dry gin that I use for making cocktails. And it's not too expensive, not too pricey. Now, like bourbon has to be from Bourbon County. Does London Dry have to be from London? London Dry uh, just describes the uh, the ingredients used for the dry gin. Okay. Um, there are some places with uh, gins where you have to have like like a specific region. Like I think uh, Old Tom Gin has to be native to UK. I'm not positive about that. Interesting. It's always fun to look into that. It is. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to distract you from the cocktail. All right. Then we'll add are citrus. I used lemon. I think lemon pairs pretty well with uh, gin just as much as lime does. And we're going to do three quarters of our lemon juice. And then the other ingredient before we shake is something I actually just made at home last night. Okay. This is a strawberry simple syrup. Strawberry sim did you make it with strawberries, like actual strawberries? Okay. Yep. Well, what I did is I just I took eight ounces of fresh strawberries. You can use frozen, but I prefer fresh. And then I just uh, de-stemmed them, chopped them up into slices, and then put them in a one-to-one -one mixture of one cup sugar and one cup water. And then basically all you do is you just uh, you let just it reduce, right? sit it in a saucepan. You let it uh, you let it simmer for like 20 minutes uh, until it gets like a really the strawberries get a really like mushy consistency, and the syrup itself has like a really nice bright red color to Which it. Which is perfect for Valentine's Day. Absolutely. You have to have pink or red in your cocktail. Yeah. Right? Okay. And then we'll do three quarters of that. Just like with the lemon. Then we'll add our ice for that. Because we are done with the shaking portion of it. Okay, I want to see some official shaking. Yes! Right there! <laughs> Shake that for, I go until my shaker gets kind of frosty, gets a little cold at the bottom. Uh, but like standard shake would be like anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds. Then we'll take both our strainers, our Hawthorne strainer on top, and then our mesh strainer to take out any of that pulp that Double might have been it. Okay. left from the lemon. No, no detail is too little for this cocktail. No detail too Just little. Just like your love for somebody. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then? We have just a little bit of room at the top. We're gonna just fill to the top with champagne. My personal recommendation is Prosecco. Yeah. I think it's a little bit sweeter than say like, like Spumante or Brut. So champagne's from the Champagne region of France. Is Prosecco from a particular region in Italy? I, uh, I'm not quite sure Something about that. Well, we'll look it up. Can I, is it ready for me to try? Yes, it, it is all ready. Sip, sip, hooray. I do love a good Prosecco. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day to me. Okay, that's really, really good. Mm -hmm. You know what's really interesting about this? I don't taste any one of those ingredients um, on its own. Yeah. I, I couldn't pick out gin, I couldn't pick out strawberry, and I couldn't pick out lemon from this. Mm -hmm. 
It's just that they all blend together to make a completely new yeah. flavor. It's a it's a very nice harmony. Uh, like I said, it pairs well with the juniper and actually with tangeray, it has a little bit of like coriander to it as well. Yeah, the the gin that I'm tasting, I don't know if it's with the just the strawberry and the lemon mixed with it, but it's I don't taste really the juniper. I just kind of taste like a fresh taste. Mm -hmm. And that's what the that's kind of the style I wanted to go for with this drink. Fresh. A little bit of crisp, kind of bubbly. Like mountain air. Like mountain air. You could do one with like a blue sometime and call it mountain air. You have my permission. Okay, sounds yeah, you good. You can do that. That's really delicious. And I like the topped with, with um, Prosecco because that makes it fancy for, for Valentine's yeah. Day. Well, so now when you're putting these together, because I know we, we talked to you and we're like, hey, make up a recipe for us for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And you started the gin and you thought about these different way that the flavors harmonize. Do you have any tips for viewers at home that are thinking, I'd like to start creating, maybe be my own mixologist? Yeah, so my advice to people that are just starting out uh, making cocktails at home are look up some like already storied recipes behind cocktails and just kind of look into uh, how they're built. Uh, a lot of like really famous, really historic cocktails that you can find out there are super simple. Uh, a gimlet, like Everybody knows uh, about a gimlet. That's just, that's just two parts of your gin or your vodka, one part of your citrus fruit, and one part simple. And a lot of those cocktail build, a lot of cocktail builds out there will just be that two part spirit to one part sweetener to one part modifier. So in this case, you're really like even with a basic gim, gin gimlet, you've taken that, changed the simple syrup to a strawberry, changed the lime to a lemon, mm -hmm. and you've got a whole new cocktail. Yeah. And it is delicious. I can't even put my finger totally on the flavor because it is so unique, but very, it's, it's crisp, it's mild, while still being flavorful. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not strong, there's nothing aggressive. Absolutely. And who wants an aggressive Valentine's Day? Definitely not on Valentine's Day do you want a, an aggressive full-bodied cocktail. You want something light, uh, something that you can sip, or something to just enjoy with whoever you're spending Valentine's Day with. And I saw that little shaker flip, so we're gonna have to do our we're gonna have to do a bottle throwing routine together sometime. I Sorry. like the sound of it. <laughs>